So as you guys know, I'm on day 11 of this 30 day making $5,000 with DoorDash challenge and trying to raise money for breast cancer awareness because October is breast cancer awareness month. And so I wake up, you know, just your average day. I'm like, okay, I'm going to go out, work a long shift, make a lot of money, make up some of the lost ground that we have because we've been doing so bad during this challenge so far. And I had some errands to run in the morning. So I'm like, okay, you know, go get those errands done. Then we'll go out, dash for like 10 to 12 hours, you know, have a great day. So I'm going to pick up medicine for my dog scout, his seizure medicine. And it's like, 25 30 minutes away so i go pick it up everything's good i'm literally driving back to the area that i want to dash in i started my dash because you can start in a different area and do like the dash along the way type thing and so i barely just turned on my dash to start heading towards my zone and i'm going to get on the freeway and immediately there's construction at like as you're turning to get onto the freeway from just your normal road you know you're you're going from the off ramp onto the freeway and there's no like sign or anything it's just cones and they are making me get over four lanes so i was like whoa just completely caught off guard so i'm trying to get over but there was no openings so i come to a complete stop right there apparently the person behind me was not paying attention they were trying to get over to whatever happened i don't really know but they come and they just slam right into me rear end the crap out of my car probably going like 35 miles an hour i'm not sure how quick they were going but definitely gave me a pretty hard hit gave me some whiplash and i was like bro are you kidding me this was exactly two days after my first accident and once again, I got hit. Not my fault at all. So we pull over to the area that was like blocked off by the construction and his airbags deployed. His entire car was like crunched in the front. I think Mercedes are built like tanks or something because I mean, there was quite a bit of damage to my car, but like I didn't feel it too much. I just kind of got like, you know, thrown a little bit, a little bit of whiplash, but nothing too serious. No airbags went off, nothing like that. And yeah, it could have honestly been a lot worse, but no one was injured. You know, he had some cuts on his arm, nothing too major. I don't even think he needed stitches or anything, but yeah. So my car's already destroyed from the first accident. I don't have a right mirror. And then this happens literally two days later, both of these accidents happened at 10 AM. So it's kind of crazy, but at that point, I was like, okay, this is just, this is just stupid at this point. I could not dash for the next two days. So day 11 and day 12, I was unable to go out and door dash at all because right after that accident, I just didn't have a good feeling. I was like, my car is so busted up. I don't feel the safest driving without a right side mirror. And it's just every time I'm driving, the mirror's like flopping, it's banging. Uh, it's just, it, it's not a safe car to drive once it's busted up this much. So day 11 was me just talking to insurance companies and talking to collision repair places, trying to figure it all out. What's funny is that both the people who hit me actually have the same insurance. So I don't know if that made it easier or not, but basically I was just on the phone with insurance companies all day tr and I'm trying to get a rental car at this point too. And they're like, uh, we're not going to have a rental car till Monday. Sorry, it might even be Wednesday. Like, I don't know when we're going to be able to get you one. And I'm like, okay, well, I I need a car to drive. They really weren't budging on that. So day 11 and 12, I literally was unable to get a rental car. Couldn't go out and dash at all, which is unfortunate. So what what now, basically, is the question. And so obviously, I can't do 30 days straight anymore, but we still can hit that $5,000. Yes, we've had major, major setbacks. I mean, there's just been stuff flying at me all over the place. I don't know what it is. It's like every single time I do a challenge, stuff gets thrown my way. Like the first challenge I think I ever did on this channel, I got deactivated halfway through from DoorDash. And then like, there's just stuff every single time. It's like every single time I go out to try and do a challenge or I go out and I'm dashing more than I normally do. There's just so much crap that happens, but it's all good. We are going to push forward and 
just still try and hit that $5,000. Actually, no, we're not even going to try. We are going to hit that $5,000. I don't care what it takes. I'll borrow someone's car if I can't get a rental in time or whatever it is. But I'm going to make that $5,000 and we're going to raise that $1,000 for breast cancer awareness with your guys' help. Now, obviously, you guys, if you've been watching the series, you know what ways I'm donating. But if you're new to this series, you haven't watched the old videos, then I'm donating $1 for every five subscribers I get during this challenge. I'm also donating 20 percent of the profits I get from my clothing brand more fit and 50% of the profits that come from the breast cancer awareness special edition hoodie so there's a bunch of ways to donate and you can also just donate your hard-earned money below as well if you would like to do that and not buy a hoodie or subscribe or whatever it is you can you can donate your own way as well but yeah as I'm coming to find out you know life throws a lot of stuff at you and it's how you handle the stuff that life throws at you which is really what makes you the person you are and life is completely unexpected both of these accidents weren't my fault. There was no way I could have done anything better, per se, on my end. You know, I was paying attention. I was doing everything I was supposed to do, driving as good as I could. But these people were either distracted or whatever it was, and they ended up hitting me. And stuff like that just happens in life. And when you're a DoorDash driver, you rely on your own income, your own ability to work. You don't get sick days. You don't get time off work where you're just getting paid to stay home and whatnot. No, it's all on you. And if you don't end up making money, then rent has to still be paid. You know, you still got to fill up your car with gas even to go out and make money. And so if life's thrown random stuff at you and you're having a hard time just even like putting gas in your car, then you can check out the link I have for you down in the description and sign up for Ivy. Now, I know you never want to go into debt or anything like that but sometimes it is necessary if you don't have money you can't borrow from anyone and you can try and go to certain banks and when you're a doordash driver you're an independent contractor it's hard to get cash advances or any type of loan like that and so if you go with ivy to get a cash advance first of all you get it fee free for life if you use the link down below and they work directly with gig workers so they're a lot more accommodating to people in this type of work so if you're in a predicament and you're interested check out the link i have for you down in the description but yeah I mean, there we have it. That's day 11 and 12. I wasn't able to go out at all, but we're not quitting. That, that's not what this challenge is about. We're not going to just give up and be like, well, my car got broken and it's going to cost $15,000 to fix. My car almost got totaled, you know, whatever, give up. No, we're going to get a rental car as soon as possible. If not, we're going to borrow someone's car and we're going to go out and make that $5,000 within the 30 day time frame. I don't care if I have to go and do back to back 100 hour work weeks. Like we're going to get this done. So thank you guys so much for the support. We're raising good money. And I think you guys are enjoying this series. So thank you guys so much. I truly appreciate you watching every single day. I know it can kind of be a lot when it's like everyday uploads, but I think you guys are enjoying them and I really appreciate the support and I'll see you guys tomorrow.